So there is a stepping up, not just a stepping up of the energy, a stepping up into the responsibility of saying, yes, I will. Yes, I know who I am, I know how to do this, and I want to do it with you. But I am aware of the privilege of being at Sunrise Ranch or being associated with people where we all take somewhat, I was going to say an oath, but I don't know that anybody made you put your hand on a Bible or say specific words, but we do our best to say, I'm committed to doing the responsible action no matter what's going on inside me. And I thought of the dedication it takes to be staying with a mission, even if you're not in the forefront anymore or you no longer can play the part you used to, but to be supporting those who are on this mission. So how do we stay clear in our passion where we're creating from the affirmative place, hearing our real name called, raising our hand and saying we will be steady in our passionate service to the same mission and hold a place where there is assurance that the um, I'll take responsibility for what I do and what I say and I'll hold a safe place for you. So there is a, a, a participation in all the ways we can possibly do it to stand in our mission and bring our passion but also know our steady place in which to act. Because something that also comes up when we have passion is a, a, a term that can be seen as negative, which is tension. And tension can bring people out of their mission and where they're not taking affirmative responsibility or honoring their affirmative duty and they're allowing their tension to be spread all over their field and just saying, I'm doing it because I feel so passionate about this. And when it comes to your mission, almost everybody has passion about it. And passion, as I said, misdirected can go to tension and tension misdirected can go to damage. Does anybody else ever feel like they've got a volcano going on? I gotta say once a week. <laughs> Sometimes during the week it's once a, a day and I, I have to do something really specific to find something to steady me so that whatever it is that's going on is totally owned as my power and not as a response or reaction to what's happening outside me. And if I'm, people say I, I don't want to give away my power but then they spew things all over people and where do, what happened to your power? Your power is in your control of this possibility of doing the creative thing. A friend of mine the other day used a phrase when he was in the middle of an argument with someone and he said, we deserve better than this. And what his point was, was we've worked hard to know how to do this in a creative, loving way with each other. And we deserve to do this in a better way and have the results of doing this in a way that serves each other instead of the energy that's moving through us. But there is a cycle of giving and receiving and receiving as opposed to taking and getting. Like being able to receive someone's appreciation and, and knowing that what I'm giving is about my mission and about what I love more than anything. That I'm willing to step up in ways that I might not have seen I could in ways that I know I am needed but didn't see in the unique circumstance that I had the goods. I've discovered, and maybe you have too, that if I'm in the situation, I got the goods. I got my goods. And they will serve a purpose when my hand is raised about what my life is about, and they will fit and bless and serve.